special edition of WCS Game Day here live at the Battle of the Woods. Tate, it's been a long time, brother. Two years since we've been here. And you know what? That time all from this group just makes it worthwhile when we get here. Without a doubt, you have to be partial or impartial because you're the county AD. I'm going to go ahead and say it because I can. Let's stop sugarcoating it. This is the best game day crowd, the best student body in the whole state, in the whole county. Nobody does game day like the Raptor Nation, and I'm not just saying that because we're here. Look, the competition is over. The stage is shaking. The stage They've is been shaking. here since five o'clock. This here place. Since five, and the place. I was full. at the pep rally. I got chill bumps. Listen, this game is as good as a game, a good as a rival, a rivalry anywhere in the state of Tennessee. Without a doubt, and this is no different this year. Battle of the Woods. Ever since. Coach Crawford's been back, Coach Daniel's second year. This is the game in the mid-state this time of year, really maybe all year long. And you know that both of them are going to be big factors in the 6A playoffs. Going to see each other again, probably again, come, what, second round, third round. And, uh, you know, two very talented teams. I think this is the most explosive that both offenses have ever been at the same time. Well, you look at the cross the way. I have to give a shout out to the Brentwood Playoffs. Right the Brentwood student section's here. Listen, this is the best part of this, this show. WCS game day is only here because of one reason, one big reason, and that's Walker Chevrolet. Look, this show wouldn't be possible without Walker Chevrolet. We've got our top 10 poster getters of the night. They're sitting over there in that nice Corvette. Dr. Pam Vaden was sitting in the Corvette a while ago. She's thinking about driving that thing home. <laughs> She's coming over here looking at us. Now listen, let's start here tonight. We have a full slate of games at the WCS Sports Conference, but let's start right here, Battle of the Woods. Biggest rivalry, there's so many implications all night, not just for this trophy, not just for the trophy of the wood. Region 6, 6A, crown on the, on the line tonight. Could be down the line for the winner of this matchup. We got so many people in this matchup. Hard-hitting defenses, electrifying playmakers, you name it. Top receiving cores going both ways. What, what gives here, man? Who's going to win this game? I don't know. I think without a doubt, whoever wins this game, they win Region 6, 6A. They will finish out number one. And then it's kind of a flip the script from last year. I think everybody thought that Brentwood was the heavy favorite. Everybody picking Brentwood to win last year. Obviously, we know what happened. Blocks field goal recurring for a touchdown, and Ravenwood won that one. I I think it's flipped this year. Most people have Ravenwood picked to win the region. I think a lot of people are picking them to win this game. But this is an explosive offense out of Brentwood. Last year it was Ravenwood with the sophomore quarterback. This year it's Brentwood with the talented sophomore quarterback. It's going to be a great game. Ravenwood sitting at seven wins. Brentwood sitting at eight wins total in this matchup in the Battle of the Woods. Here's another thing in the last five years, Tate. The games haven't even been close. 2017, the Raptors won 31-23. That's the closest game it's been in the last five years. The average margin of victory has been 21 points per game. Do you see that big of a gap tonight, or do you see this coming down to the, to the wire? No, I think this is a very close football game. I think they're both very evenly matched, and I don't think it's going to be as high scoring as certain people, as a lot of people think. I think what it's going to come down to really is you've got two very athletic quarterbacks that can beat you both with their arm and their legs, but I think it's whichever quarterback doesn't get a beat. They're both used to extending the play with their feet, sometimes maybe overextending on a play. They're both going against defenses, the best defenses they've seen all year long. Whichever one doesn't get them beat, I think has the best chance to win this game. Well, one of my radar players of the week, Andrew Mason at the wide receiving position. You better watch him. Walker Merrill could potentially be a matchup right there, man. Defensive back from Brentwood watching on Andrew Mason, the wide receiver for Ravenwood. That's going to be a matchup I want you to watch. Um, this game last year, 38-7, Ravenwood won. 2015, Ravenwood won 31-17. Brentwood won 41-10. You remember in that rain out, they had to split the game up, come back and play. Ravenwood won 31-23 in 2017. This has gone three of the last four to Ravenwood. I think Brentwood has this game circled, and I think these guys are coming in looking to steal one. Yeah, without a doubt. They, they got Bishop outside. They've got Avery Williams outside, two of the more explosive uh, receiving duos. And then I think this game, along with the quarterbacks, is going to come down to the running game. You've got Jordan Nicholas on the Brentwood side, and then you got Tony Rice on the Ravenwood. Wood side again. I don't think this is going to be a 350-yard passing night for the two quarterbacks. I think it's going to be one in the ground game and the defensive and offensive lines. And I think a big thing for Ravenwood is how do they handle Tank Star, who's one of the best D linemen that they'll see all year long, if not the best. Could you see?
see a defensive touchdown tonight. Tank Starr got one last week. Uh, I don't see that, but I do. Th I think we can see one in the kicking game. 4-0. Ravenwood's coming in, ranked number four team in mid-state, in the state. Brentwood's coming in, ranked number 12. The 3-1, only one mess up on the record. That was a three-point loss to another top 10 ranked Kane Ridge. The pundits have this game as a pickle, man. It's too close. I think that's fair. Let's move on. Centennial versus Dixon. Homecoming for Centennial. Do you see any potential trip-ups here? No, I do not. But Dixon is better. But the way that Centennial scores points, 62 points in one game against Independence, are you kidding me? They can score points. But I do think Dixon County's a little better than people think. Centennial gets the win. Just as the doctor ordered right here, Dixon County served up on a platter right nice for the Cougars see you, Jario Wilson. This game will not be close. Centennial rolls on this one. Summit, 2-2 two and two against Columbia. This is They're trying to bounce back after that Nolensville loss. What do you think about the old Sparty? I, I think it's a must win for them. It's a region game. Columbia is 0-4, I believe. But they're not as bad as their record indicates. Summit's got to get back on track. Obviously, you know, they'll need a big night from George Edomagrid. Uh, freshman quarterback, Destin Wade, for the first time all year last week, he played like a freshman. Don't need him to play like a freshman tonight. If he doesn't, Summit's fine. I agree with you. I, I, you know, another served up on a plat in Columbia right. Central. Perfect time. Taking a slaughter to the lamb, if you will. The running game, the wing tee offense serves too much for Columbia tonight. Page 3-1 and one versus Antioch. Antioch is winless, and I think they remain that way tonight. Without a doubt, if Cade Walker plays, this could be get out the old boat captain hat. This could be a boat race. Popcorn if he doesn't, City. it could be Popcorn City. If he doesn't, they still win. Great timing to get Antioch. They are athletic, but this Page team's a good 5-18. Nolensville, 3-1. and one. They only have one blip on their radar right now, and that is the come-from-behind win against Page. They should really easily be sent 4-0, getting their first WCS Sports Conference win against Summit last week. They're playing Lawrence County, another winless team. Pull the tugboat captain out. That's Pull right. the cord. Get your popcorn out. This one's not going to be close. Put the master craft on cruise control. This is a boat race. And, hey, one of my favorite guys, Ryan Gallardi, ever since he stepped in for Vic Wharton, or Brandon Wharton, at quarterback, he has done nothing but get better and better and better. He is playing top-notch football. I think you boy Zach Campbell has a big night tonight. Would love to see if Nick Kuchers continues his three-game streak of an interception. I think he does. This game, they're eating popcorn in the third quarter. Our uh, Fairview Camden, this is a region uh, 3-6-A game. Brandon Nardozzi, ha Cam Harris Lusk, that list, Brock Harris, way, way too much for Cam. Yeah, this one could be a bad one too. Interesting stat, I thought this was really neat. We talk about all the explosive and great players we got in the WCS Sports Conference. Cam Harris Lusk going into tonight is the leading scorer in any classification, all nine classifications of TWSAA. And he's not even playing four quarters a game because some of them have been blowouts. Leading score, that is big time. Me, Machine, Chris Hughes, roll tonight. That's right. Time. That's right. This is the, probably the second biggest game of the night. Something with Franklin, That's Independence. I mean, this game has so much implications on it. It's a region game. Loser potentially could be out of the playoffs. Man, can you imagine that conversation with Independence not being in the conversation to come playoff time? Hard to believe. Once again, uh, the, the teams have proved us wrong, right? I think everybody – some people were talking about them winning the region. So, uh, this is a big game tonight. Obviously, Franklin's better than what people thought they were. Is Cisco going to play? Is he not? They're going to have to – I know this. If Independence – has any chance of winning this game, they got to score 35 or more points. You're correct on that. Good luck stopping Matt Gacka tonight. Rebellion's looking pretty strong in that game. When we come back to WCS game day, we're going to meet the head coaches of Brentwood, Ryan Crawford and Matty Daniels here at Ravenwood Stables. We'll be right back. Welcome back to WCS game day here live from the Battle of the Woods. Tate, we've got a special guest, buddy. And I'm not sure there's another coach in the WCS Sports Conference that loves this crowd as much as my guy, head coach of Ravenwood, Matt Daniels. Come on. Hey, we can be louder than that. Let's go. All right, Coach Daniels, real quick. 
What does this game mean? You mentioned something to me today. You said you've been here this long, two years, three years now, and you said you've never felt it like it is today. Yeah, you know, in school, you could just feel this this buzz, this electricity, and, and we kind of capped it off with the pep rally. And uh, it's our job now as the coaching staff and the players to um, to bring all that to a, to a peak tonight and uh, put on a good show for the home crowd. Coach, you're from Texas, where the home of the second UT, the second most famous UT is. But seriously, legendary crowds, legendary student sections there. You said earlier today, and I think this is true, this, this game tonight, these two student sections, this crowd is going to have a Texas high school crowd feel to it. I think that's about as big as a compliment as we can get. It, it really is, and I'll tell you what, uh, with, in my playing days, we did not have a crowd here this early and this loud, so this is surpassing that. Um, so it's, it's pretty darn special. Well, Tate mentioned that the Ravenwood student section is the best section in the WCS Sports Conference. He said that. He's, he went on record. He went out there and just threw it on out there. I, I, I even went so far as to say it's not even close. Not even close. Coach Daniels, give me quick 10 seconds, keys to winning. Keys to winning, minimize the mistakes, no turnovers, and stop the big play from the opponent. Best of luck, my friend. Thank you guys Dirty so Dan much. Dirty Dan is leaving the stage. Give it up, Coach Matt Daniels, Ravenwood. We now have another special guest. Please give a warm Ravenwood welcome for the head coach of Brentwood, Ron Crawford. This guy, man, listen, I don't know how they boo you. I love you. I love you. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a great form of flattery <laughs> that they care enough about me to do this on a continual basis. Hey, so. there's a saying, an old saying, if they're hugging in your neck, they're kicking your tail. Well, they're not hugging in your neck tonight, so what does that mean? Hey, man, uh, one thing I will say is what a great representation for their school. And uh, you got to take your hat off to that kind of energy and that kind of passion. So well, it's really cool. That's not too shabby across the way. As I look got over those the guys over there. Brentwood we'll turn them loose. There. They're here early. They can good take. We'll get them going about 7 o'clock. Tater? You told me earlier today that Oakland booed you way worse than this when you were at Riverdale, so you're used to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm bald. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Here's what I want to know. Last year, Ravenwood had the inexperienced, athletic, playmaking sophomore quarterback. He's a junior now. I think it's flipped. You've got the athletic, playmaking, sophomore, inexperienced quarterback. What does Cade Granzel, without putting him off, you know, what do you need from him in a game of this magnitude tonight? Just, just like our opponent, you know, he needs to play within the system. He needs to take what's available, uh, take what is given, throw it to the guy that's in the same color jersey as us and not them. And, you know, their guy's a year older and obviously a talented kid, and great with the ball in his hand, great in chaos. So us containing him is a big part of it too. Cade just needs to get the ball to our playmakers and, and play loose and Relax. Don't get us beat. That's right. And then you've been in a lot of these games, different coaches. The cast has changed over here. Would you say that this is the most skill, explosive skill players on the two side of the ball at one field at one time in the history? You know, of this? It, it, it's hard when you think about the 2015 team that was so good, uh, but probably the sheer number of them, not a doubt. I, I know it is for us. I think they would be better to answer that for them, but 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 probably so, even though that 15 team they had was awful good. Pretty special. Coach Crawford, what does it mean to bring that trophy back to the house? You know, I'll tell you what it means is, is, is winning against your biggest rival. Uh, that's what it means, you know. That those things notwithstanding, is you want to compete hard, compete well. You always want to, you know, do that in your rivalry games. Coach Crawford, I love you, man. <laughs> You're a great sport. I appreciate right, you man. being up here on the hot seat. Good day. Thank, Thank you. Best of luck tonight. Coach Ron Crawford, the head coach of the Brentwood Bruins. When we come back to WCS game day here at the Battle of the Woods, we will be joined by the principals, and it's pick em time. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello. Welcome back to WCS game day here live from the Battle of the Woods. This is as good as it gets. It don't matter if it's at Brentwood. It doesn't matter if it's at Ravenwood. Dr. Vaden, there's your microphone. I know you're pumped up. I know you've done your homework. I know you're ready. Coach Kydell, I don't. He don't have to get ready. I'm just gonna tell you, he knows what he's talking about. So, are I've you been ready? Practicing all afternoon. All afternoon, she's got her speech ready. Real quick, real quick. I don't know. Real quick, ten seconds each. We'll start with you, Mr. Kydell. What does this game mean to your school? 
Oh, this is one of the best nights we have all year. It is so exciting for our football team, our students to be part of this environment. It's not often that you get 6,000 kids at a high school game, this much excitement. We just, it's, it's a fantastic rivalry, and we're just so excited to be part of it. Dr. Vaden, same to you. I have some st statistics. Oh, this no. is our 16th game, and Brentwood has one up on us. It's, I believe, eight to seven. That is correct. If we win tonight, we'll be even, Stephen, going into next year. Did you know the last five years that this game has been decided by an average of 21 points? I didn't know that. That's a big discrepancy. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be that big of a spread tonight, or do you think it's going to be close? Boy, it's hard to tell. That those Bruins are pretty tough, and they can be sneaky. So, <laughs> but I think we can pull it out. Well, I th <laughs> It is going to be a close game. Two very evenly matched teams. It's going to be a great night. People are going to see some great football. All right, let's get to it. You know the rules. We're going to go down the list. Are you ready? All right, first game of the night. This is a big one. We talked about this one earlier. Region 6, 6A matchup. The loser could potentially be out of the playoffs. Franklin versus Independence. Well, I'm going to have to go with Franklin. We played him earlier this season, and Coach Webb has a very, very good ball club. We are very fortunate to get away with the win, so I'm going to have to go with Franklin to win that game. I have to agree with uh, Mr. Kaidel. I think that Dr. Defense has a game plan yes. for tonight. Dr. Defense, she's done her homework so far. You're one for Dr. one. Dr. Vaden brought it. I love but it. he is Dr. Offense now. He's calling the offense now. But you're, you're exactly right, Dr. Defense. Oh, right. He's shotgun five wide slash Dr. Defense now. <laughs> who, who do you got? She, is, she brought it. I love it. Tell you, man, I think Franklin, Franklin wins and wins by double digits. Franklin wins. Scott Shake standing by at the Walker Chevrolet Coach's Corner. Scott, who do you have tonight? Hey, guys, Walker, uh, Walker Chevrolet here. We brought Tennessee Walker Ranger right here. Tennessee Walker Rangers in the house. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> All right. So we're here. There's a pretty big game going on tonight. Uh, just to let you guys know, this guy might or might not be from Brentwood. But uh, <laughs> so we're gonna pick a couple winners real quick. Franklin Independence. Who do you guys think is gonna win Franklin Independence game? Franklin. We got a, we got a Franklin All Centennial right. Dixon. Centennial Summit Columbia. Summit, Summit. Page Antioch. Page. Hey, all right, Paige it is. <laughs> Nolansville, Lawrence County. <laughs> Nolansville. <laughs> no. Fairview, Camden. They don't like Nolansville, do they? Camden. And then we've got Ravenwood and Brentwood. <laughs> uh, okay, Ravenwood it is. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So the masses that spoke, now let's work our way down this list. Centennial Dixon. What I've heard is Mr. Hames, the principal, is going to start calling the plays for Centennial tonight. Oh. So I think he called them when they played Indy and they put up 62 points. So I'm going to go with uh, the Centennial Hameses. Mr. Kaidel, is it my turn? Yes, yes it's your Not turn. so Raptor fast. Whoa. Whoa. Not so Raptor fast. Have you heard of Wowo at Centennial? Jario Wilson. Yeah, he's going to he's going to pull it out for Centennial tonight. It isn't going to be you're the actually, principal. You're it's actually you're actually in agreement. But I like yeah, it. But I like not it. So fast. I like it. I like it. Lee Corso, go. I'm with Dr. Vaden. Whoa, whoa, big night. Boat race. Cougars. Over. Homecoming for CU. And they don't spoil the homecoming. Uh, Dixon does not spoil that homecoming. Centino wins. Summit at Columbia. I'm going to have to stay in the county. Think uh, Summit's going to roll tonight. It's going to be a blowout game. Not even close. I agree. They had a sophomore quarterback. He's Ooh. out. Now they got a freshman quarterback who's is. really hot. I'm going to Summit. <laughs> Mr. Cadell, you got to step your game. I can't follow her, man. You got to step up your game. She's got all the info. Summit, without a doubt. <laughs> His name is Destin Wade, and you are correct on that. Dr. Vaden, you're right. His name is Destin Wade, and he is a difference maker. He had a, a freshman. I, I hate to say a freshman moment last week. He gets back on the horse tonight. Summit rolls tonight big. Page versus Antioch. Well, Paige's only loss is to Ravenwood, so Pam's seen him up close, has a good idea what they're doing. I'm going to have to go with Paige. And that's Shane Pantall. He's creating a culture over there. It's winning culture, so I'm going with Paige, too. I'm with, I agree with the principals again. They come, I think Cade Walker gets back this tonight. This could be Popcorn City. Not so fast. Antioch moves to 0-5. <laughs> Fairview versus Camden. Uh, you know, since they're agreeing with us all the time, Pam, should we take over this show next week? <laughs> I think so. I'm starting so. to think that may not be a bad idea. Um, we're going to go with the uh, Fairview Yellow Jackets. They are on a roll this year. Very, very talented team. 
I'll go with Fairview too. I don't know that much about him other than we got Kurt Jones out there now, and and he's out the leader of the whole school. I so. love the fact that you're you're basing these games predicated on who the principal is. I like it. I like it. Principals have a lot to do with it. I hear you. I hear you. Look, look, look behind you. They're chanting your name up here where they were. <laughs> Fairview, you know, Cam Harris lost the leading score in the state. He stays that way. Logan Nardozzi, this is... Not even going to talk about yeah. it. Not even going to talk Boat about race. it. Boat race. Nolansville, Lawrence County. I tell you, you know, thought with uh, Coach Hester leaving Nolansville that they may have a little pause this year. They haven't missed a beat. They've played great football, and they will roll tonight. I'm going with my boys, Paul Derrick and Brian Gunter, Gunter coaching that team. The Knights are going to roll. Colton Dooley was held under 100 yards for the first time last week. He gets over 100 in the first half. This one's over early, the Knights. All right, it brings us to the Knights matchup, the Battle of the Woods. Who do you pick, Mr. Cowdell? Well, I think he finally went to the easiest game of the night. This is one of the dead, solid picks of the night. You know, uh, ACT score, we had the best ACT score, the highest number of national merit semifinalists. What is it that we don't win at? Well, football will just be another one that we add to the list. The Bruins roll tonight. Wow. The Bruins roll tonight. Dr. Faden. Is it my turn? Yes, ma'am. We'll win this game tonight. We'll win this game. We'll win this game tonight if you will fight. Go then, you Raptors. Let's fight the foe. You got the get up. We got the go. go. I love it. That's the best. Raptors. You're picking the Raptors? Well done, man. Well done. Two things. One, I'm pretty sure the last time we were here, you brought that ACT thing up. <laughs> Second of all, that is, I'm, I'm not trying to be, that is awesome. Everybody Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was great. Okay. Big game. I think last year everybody thought Brentwood was going to win. Ravenwood came out and won. They had the, the, the young, inexperienced quarterback in Brian Garcia. This year, I think everybody's picking Ravenwood. I picked them to win the district at the beginning of the year. Brentwood's got the young, inexperienced quarterback in Cade Granzow. I don't know. I've gone back and forth. The last time I was here, I quoted a great American poet named Ric Flair. I'm going to quote another one this year. I was talking to Coach Ron Crawford on the phone today. I said, Coach, what is the key to the game? He said, well, Taterbug, the key to the game is the lines of scrimmage, tank scare, we're going to whip them. He said, and that's the bottom line because Ron Crawford said so. Bruins roll. He picks Brentwood. I don't know who I'm going to pick tonight. I just don't know. Who, who do you think I should pick tonight? Who do you think I should pick tonight? Listen, I love Ryan Crawford. I love the Bruins. I love what they've done. But it's way too fast tonight. The tradition is, is, is be the tradition. It's Raptor fast. And there's one thing I'm certain of, Tate, tonight that's going to happen. What's that? This right here is fixing to be wrong tonight. Ravenwood rolls tonight. The victory bell has been rung. Dr. Vaden. Well, I have Mr. to. Mr. Cottell, thank uh, you for uh, being here. Uh, thank Another you very great much. game day. Go thank ahead, you go very ahead. Much. And thank you for singing your song. You're welcome. Unbelievable that we have this many students on both sides before the game. So thank you for joining WCS Game Day. Enjoy the game. We'll see you next week at the Battle of Franklin.